Testing, testing, one, two, three. What is up, everybody? I hope you had a fantastic day today, or I hope you are having a fantastic day, depending on what time you are listening to this. Today, we have the Chevrolet Camaro, and our objective today is design is to design the best-looking Chevrolet Camaro SS, specifically the SS, not the ZL1, not the uh, 2LT, LT, or... LT1 or whatever those other models are, just the SS. So we are gonna get right into it by going to vehicles, performance, and there it is right there, our Chevrolet Camaro starting at $25,000, but of course the SS doesn't start at 25,000, the base model does. Ours is going to be the SS. So Chevrolet Camaro 2020, uh, Matt, what, what is this thing talking about? Max horsepower available, 650. That must be for the ZL1. Yep, that sure is. 0 to 63.5 seconds. So, yes, that's not for us right there. We're, we're not... This car, the SS doesn't have a 3.5 seconds, 0 to 60. Uh, let's go to building price. And by the way, did you hear? They say the Chevrolet Camaro may possibly be going away. I hope that's not true. Um... I guess the sales aren't what they used to be anymore and they're kind of just you know slacking right now which is kind of weird because the fifth generation Camaro uh, which came out in 2010 the sales were absolutely killing it I mean uh, yeah they, they absolutely were on top uh, I think because of the movie Transformers everyone wanted a Camaro um, and this new one is a better car in every single way it's a better car but the competition out there, I mean, with, with Dodge, their, their, their marketing department is just genius right now um, with the Hellcats and the Mopar, the SRT products. And just that's what's everyone's talking about there right now. SRT, Hellcat, Hellcat. Everyone's talking about Hellcats. The Camaro, I don't know. It's, it's it, it may actually be the better car. I mean, car for car, it may be the better car than all of them out there as far as the Mustang goes, the, the, the uh, current Challenger. But... The marketing, it's just not there. It's just not there right now. And I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's what's going on. So, okay. So, this part's going to be kind of controversial. Because I actually think that the best looking version of the Camaro is actually the convertible. I think, now, I may be a little bit biased, okay. Uh, here we go right now. I currently own an SS convertible. And... That's one of the reasons why I bought it. I think it actually looks better with the fabric top. A lot of you may not agree with that, but I think that that's the case. So I'm wondering if I should say, just, just you know, call this the best looking Camaro SS Coupe. But then I may make a separate video on just the regular convert on on the convertible as well, not just the regular, the convertible as well, which would be two videos on the same type car. And I don't think I want to go that route. So. You guys are gonna hit me. Some of you are probably gonna hate me for this, but we're gonna go straight to the convertible model because I actually think that's the best looking version of the car. I think with that fabric top on top of it, it makes it look more premium, in my opinion. In my opinion, uh, yes, I do currently own one, like I said, but that's not the only reason why. Um, it, it just, in my opinion, it, that's just how it is to me. Uh, I, I think, I think I've all before I owned it, I thought the convertible looked better. So next, let's go to trims. So, we are gonna, right off the back, go to the 2SS, which gives you that 6.2 liter V8 with 455 horsepower and 455 pound foot of torque. And there it is right there. And so for the 2SS, right, starts at $49,495. The 1SS starts at $44,495, but we're not gonna get that one because that one comes with cloth seats. Uh, it doesn't come with the. Uh, it doesn't come with a, like the premium sound system. It doesn't come with like the uh, the LED color illuminated door seals and cup holders and stuff like that. We want all of that to get the best looking Camaro. And so let me just enlarge this image so you guys can see what I'm talking about and why I say this is the best looking version of the Camaro. Uh, this is the wrong color, by the way. We're not gonna go with white for sure, but white's, white's not a bad color, but uh, you, you can get away with white with a Camaro. They don't really make many bad colors for the Camaro. I don't think they make any bad. I don't think I've ever seen an ugly Camaro color as far as this generation goes. Um, 
Yeah, I think I have. And once again, Chevrolet's website is holding us up by making us wait. There, there it is. Okay, so there's the 2SS convertible. Uh, and look at that. That looks sharp, just like that. That's it. Just gives it a more premium look with that black top. So that's where we're gonna go with. Uh, let me go ahead and back out of that. Wait, let me just turn this around so you guys can see some more pictures of it. Look at that. That is sharp. It just blends in with a lot with, with a lot with the uh, the black accents that are already on the car. So next, let's go to colors. Now, I own a red version of this car, so and I, it's specifically red hot. This is the one that I own. However, I'm not sure if this is gonna be my choice, but we'll see. Let's, let's kind of just go through them really quick because I like the blue, um, and I also like the orange, the crushed orange. So, so we're not gonna go with the steel gray metallic. That's too bland. White, we saw that one already. Black doesn't. It doesn't. It black actually looks nice. Um, but it it it's it's not enough color. It's not it's not enough color. I, I I like to go with color. I mean, so but black black's not a bad color. Black is black is just. I'm sorry, guys. So that's my dog. He's snoring. I have an English bulldog if I haven't told you already, and he's back here snoring right now. Roscoe, could you please be quiet for about 15 more minutes? Thank you, sir. Okay. Uh, but black's a good color, like I was saying. But you know, we actually want some color. He's just doing the Roscoe. Stop, please. Roscoe. All right. Okay, so that looks kind of weird. That rally green metallic. Shadow gray metallic, let's see. And no, we definitely don't want that one. Riverside blue metallic. I like this color right here, this blue. This looks nice. Uh, crush orange, let's see. Come on, Chevrolet website. It's oh, it's so slow. That looks kind of strange to me. I don't think I've saw this. I, I haven't saw this. I haven't saw, uh, saw this color combination in person at all. This orange crush. So uh, this shot color. Let's see what this is all about. This looks kind of strange as well. I've seen the shot color in person, uh, but never in convertible form. It's not bad. And let's go with this garnet red tri coat I think the regular red hot looks better so for me I think it's between the blue the orange and the red and let me see there's the orange one more time hmm yeah I don't know and let's go ahead and look at the blue one more time again I really like the blue color blue may, may be my favorite if I go with red I'm definitely being biased because my car is red yeah, it's, it's between the blue and the red. And I am going to go with the red. I'm going to go with the red. This is almost the exact same color combination as the car that I have. This is that what it says. The same color combination as the color that I have. All right. Sorry about that. Got a text message. All right. Now, convertible tap. Convertible top. You can go with black, blue, or Kalahari. And we are definitely going to stick with black. I think you could go with blue if you had a white car. Um, removes red hat. Yeah, you can. Let's see about the Kalahari. I just want to see what that may look like. You gotta go. Yeah, Kalahari. You have to go with a white color, which that's like that's actually not a bad color combination. But we're gonna stick with the uh, black top and let's just keep it moving. Go right down the line. Okay. So next we have the we can add some accents and stripes decals or something like that and let's see what they have hood stripe side in black no we don't want that one center stripe black metallic no i don't know we don't want that uh we don't want those i do think a fender hash is that what it's called yeah fender hash would look nice uh black let's see if it puts it on there for us i don't have it on my car but i've been thinking about getting it so we can add it right here now and just see that doesn't look bad. It doesn't look black in the picture though. It looks actually, well, it, does, it says black metallic. Do they have just plain black? Cause it says black metallic, but yeah, I think that looks pretty nice. Let me see us, let's, let's see a side view of it. Not bad, not bad. We'll, we'll leave it on there for now and we may change it later. All right, as far as our interior, we have to go with the adrenaline red seat trim. 
uh, this is the adrenaline what Wow, $195 sure go ahead and add it we have no we have unlimited funds we sold lots of lemonade this summer so we are fine let me get you guys a closer look at the interior so you can see it the Camaro has a fantastic interior if you compare it to like the uh, Mustang and the uh, Challenger I don't necessarily know that one's better than the other I really don't um, they're all pretty good this time around some people say the Camaro is better um, but I, I like like I said this is a car I drive on a regular basis uh, my specific car is a 2016 um, it looks the same they haven't really they haven't changed anything as far as I can tell it's a fantastic interior so yeah this is how it looks mine's is all black I don't have this these red color accents though I wish I did that would be nice but I don't and let's see if we can get another view of it another angle I mean yeah there you go there's another angle look at that they're being kind of fancy they're showing you it with the top down looks nice really wish I had that but I don't I got just solid black which is which is fine which is fine but this really adds to the fact that you have a red car and it's black and red interior. you can do this with a color different uh, different uh, a bunch of different exterior color cars you can add this red interior you can have it on a white exterior I think it will look good black exterior that would look fine as well all right let's keep it moving okay now um where are we at red line edition so we definitely want some different wheels but i think we have to this, if we add the red line edition right now that's going to change some things that's it's probably going to take away some things so let's see if we can just do it with yeah it's going to remove our color so no we're not going to do that version of it uh special uh shock and steel special edition carbon fiber instrument panel panel carbon fiber instrument panel 20 inch blade design aluminum wheels with summer only tires yellow painted brake calipers let's see if we can add that one let's see what it looks like no we can't do that one either without it you know messing up some stuff all right let's keep it moving camaro logo package no we don't necessarily we don't um need that i, I like the uh, little shield on the side just like that uh winter summer floor mat package sure we need floor mats 290 bucks let's go ahead and add that all right what is this satin black appearance package i don't know what that is satin black outside mirrors oh really a real spoiler cool let's select it roscoe my dog snoring again can you be quiet for about 10 more minutes we're almost done okay i'm gonna show you guys a picture of roscoe one day oh yeah that looks sharp look at that that is sharp that I don't have, I, and I wish I did have it, but I do not. Ceramic white interior package. Don't know what that is. Let's see. Uh, black interior with ceramic white front seat in. So, oh, no, no. That would change our interior color. But that would look nice if we had a white car. But we don't. Or a black car. No. I wouldn't even go with the red, actually. Black uh, wheel lug nut package. Black uh, lug nuts. Black wheel lock. Yes, because we're going to get some black wheels for 315 bucks sure go ahead and add that and next up is our exterior so now oh my dog's walking away from me he's tired of me talking he's going back to his room sorry roscoe i was almost done anyway so we have to go with black wheels to make this really this car really pop and we only have looks like three choice oh we have i wonder if we can get these red line edition wheels right here let's just see no we can't do it um so it's either gonna be these these carbon flash painted aluminum wheels right here or these which are the ones that i currently have on my car these are the, okay let's can we do this yeah uh sure it's, these are two thousand dollars but these may look the best no what happened it didn't, it didn't give it to us it actually gave it to us in price, but it didn't add it. This is Chevrolet's website malfunctioning. It does this from time to time. Let's see if we can add these now. Let's see if it fixes it for us. Hmm. These look okay. These are the 20-inch uh, SS5 split spoke satin black wheels with summer-only tires. These aren't bad, but I think the other ones. Hmm. 
Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we should go with let's let's see if it it'll actually show us what these look like. Come on, please add them this time. Chevrolet's webs. I don't want to mess with this too many times because sometimes I remember I was messing with this in the past and it just wouldn't add any wheel comment. Uh, and it wouldn't show me what any wheels look like. I I, I would click add and it wouldn't put them on the car. No matter what, what I did, I had to kind of start to open up a new browser again. See, like, like it's doing right here. So we are gonna, let me try this one more time then. These 20 inch ones right here for an extra $300. These are the same ones that, these are the standard wheels that come on a car, they're just black in black form. Um, I kind of like these better than these. I'm gonna look at this one more time just to make sure. That'll save us $2,000 too if we go with these. Hmm. Yeah, this is a tough one. You know what? I'm gonna go with these because I don't see these. I, I've, I've never seen a Camaro with these wheels on them actually. Uh, these are pretty standard, the ones you were seeing up here. The uh, 20 inch five spoke carbon flash paint aluminum wheels. Those are pretty standard. I see those quite a bit. I've never seen these before. So I don't know if they necessarily look better, but they're different. Yeah, we're gonna we're, de we're definitely gonna go with those. All right, pedal shift controls. What's that? I mean, I know what they are, but what, why is it? Why is there an option to check it? What does that do? Controls mounted on the back side of the steering wheel for transmission shifting may require additional optional equipment. I thought that was standard. That's weird. We're gonna select it. I thought that actually came with the car. Wait a minute. Oh, oh, okay. That that's remove six speed manual. I didn't know we even selected the manual transmission. I thought we hit the automatic. So this is another one that's probably gonna piss some of you guys off, but we're going with the automatic. It's faster. And so that's, that's what it's saying. I, 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 was, I still had the manual transmission inside the car. That was why it's asking me to select uh, the pedal shifters. So with that, you get, with the automatic transmission, you get launch control, transmission oil cooler, and pedal shifters. All right, let's keep it moving. Um, magnetic ride control. I currently have that on my car. I don't know what it, what it would be like to not have it. I want to say, hmm, a lot of people say yes. You got to get that. See, I don't. In my car, it's not. It's not the most comfortable riding car, but it's 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 okay. It's not horrible. So I'm guessing without it, it may be a rougher ride, and you wouldn't want that. So yeah, let's just go ahead and add it. But I don't really notice. The, I don't. I can't. I want to say I don't notice the difference, but I've never driven a car without it. So. I don't know. Uh, lower range suspension. Oh, I'm sorry. I got distracted by something that popped up on my screen. Uh, lowering. There we go. Lowering suspension upgrade. No, we don't want that. 6.2 strut tower brace in black. No, we don't want that. Chevrolet performance six piston Brembo brake upgrade system. Um, no, we don't need that. Now, this this is like more of a cruiser car, so we don't need that. Chevrolet Performance rear uh, rear calipers in red. Can we get all the calipers painted in red? Let me get a side view of this car just to make sure they paint all of them in red. Okay, let me. We may have to select those just to get our calipers. Oh, there we go. Red. Painted brake caps. We could go with orange too, or even yellow, to make it, to make it. Come on, I want my side view. All right, there's the side view. Let's see what yellow looks like. Hopefully, it actually. Uh oh, we can't do it, can we? No, we can't do it. Okay, Chevrolet. What about orange? Uh, my mines are red. Red's kind of the standard color, but we may want to do something just a little bit different. Uh, no orange. Orange is too weird because it's it's too close to red, but it's not red. So, yeah, we have to go with red. All right, so that's our red brake calipers. And next, let's scroll on down. Uh, 6.2 liter performance air intake. No, we don't need that. Dual mode exhaust. Yes, you absolutely want that for $995. That's more like a performance exhaust. It's going to give you the... Uh, you know, dual pipes on both sides because standard just comes with just two pipes. So this is what it looks like right here. I mean, move on over. Chevrolet's website's taking all day. Almost there. 
There you go. Yeah, those are the pipes you want right there. Those are perfect. All right, let's scroll on down. Um, let me go back to the front view of this thing. Okay, um, second generation front uh, splitter with metallic black finish. Yes, that's the one we want. We don't want nothing too crazy, just like a, a subtle little front splitter right here. And this one's 610 bucks. Please put it on the car so we can see it. Oh yeah, that is sharp. Look at that, that is sharp. Tell you guys, the convertible is the best looking version of the Camaro. It, really, it truly is. Can't go wrong with the coupe either. That's also fantastic, fantastic looking as well. But the uh, convertible just it's, it it kind of just something about those that cut that black top with the other color accents makes it a very very sharp looking car. Uh, as far as the other hood decals, I'm gonna pass on these these things for now. Yeah, we don't want that splash guards. No, we don't need that. Um, Second generation side uh, side rocker moldings in satin black. Hmm. Set, uh, carbon flash metallic. Let's go with the carbon flash metallic and see what that does. See if that keeps our our front splitter. It may take away our front splitter because front splitter because it looks like this package comes with a front splitter. Yeah, that is sharp just like that. Not too, it's not overdone. And this works for this kind of car right here. So this is actually perfect. I don't have this on my car, I wish I did, but I don't. May add it, may not. May just get a different car entirely because I've had it for a while now. Um, but we'll, <laughs> we'll see. Black Camaro logo, Fender badge, absolutely. 145 bucks. That is worth it. Um, what else? Let's see, We're, let's, let's let this thing piece load. Performance wheel center cap for 150 bucks. I think our center cap looks gray. So if this makes it black, then yes. No, it's black, so it's fine. It's this. No, we don't. We don't need that. Although, wait a minute now. This says S black SS wheel center caps for 150 bucks yes let's go with those i didn't even know those were available we can get those on there for 150 that is worth it and let's just scroll one down fuel filler door in black with red hot insert that is a must have i do have that on my car 225 bucks looks fantastic and it should pop up right here on the side look at that that is sharp right there okay and we are at 59,335 bucks. These cars are not cheap, but uh man, you got you got the you got a, you got a 455 horsepower beast of a motor. So it's a, it's a nice car. It's a really 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 nice car. Um front license plate bracket, that depends on what state you're in, so we're going to say no. Um car cover, I'm going to say no to that for now. Although, you know, you may want one depending on what you, what you got going on. Chevrolet infotainment three premium uh, system with navigation with eight inch diagonal HD color touchscreen. This one kind of confuses. Wait a minute, it's this plus system, premium system. I don't know what the difference is. Bluetooth, cloud, Apple CarPlay. I'm, this thing, I don't know what this is because the 2SS comes with this stuff already. So I don't know why it's charging 495 bucks for which um, it almost sounds like the same same system. If anyone knows what the difference is between the standard infotainment three plus system and the premium infotainment uh, three system, let me know. We're gonna say no, cause that seems a little weird so far. So we're not gonna do that. Red seat belts, 195 bucks. Sure, give that to me. Um, what else we have? Alloy sport pedals for 250 bucks. It's not gonna show us what those look like, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh, maybe it will. Let's add them. Let's see if it shows it to them right down here. Oh yeah, that is sharp. Only you will probably see that, but for 250, why not do it now? That way you don't gotta go to Pet Boys later on and add it. Uh, suede micro fiber wrap steering wheel. No, we don't want that. Embroidered center console with Chevrolet Performance. No, that's too much, too much, too many logos. We don't want too many logos inside of our car. Let's keep it moving. 
cargo net, 70 bucks. That comes in handy so you can put your uh, instant car wash detailer in there and your towel just in case you, you know, run to some flies on your way to the uh, car show. You can wipe it down. You're going to need that cargo net. 70 bucks, but it fits perfectly for the car. Let's keep it scrolling down. Let's keep on scrolling down. Knee pads in red. No, we got enough red in the car. Let's, we'll keep that black. Next, accessories. Oh, I think we're done. We are done, I think, right? Next, let's go to summer. Yeah, we are done. Here it is, guys. The perfect Chevrolet Camaro. The best looking SS you can get. 59850 bucks, And this car looks fantastic like this. Um, let's go ahead and enlarge the pictures as soon as they load. Here, here we go. Let's go ahead and make this picture bigger. It's coming. Look at that. That is sharp. You see that thing coming at you, watch out. That is that is that 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 is a good looking car right there. Good looking car. Fantastic looking car. Let me go ahead and get you another view of it. Let's get the uh a side view of it. I think that's what's next coming up. Look at that side view. That is sharp. We'll make that bigger for you. Right, and let's go ahead and see what the next view is. It gives it gives us four different angles from the exterior. Man, look at that! Look at that gas cap. That is sharp. Look at those exhausts. This is sharp. This is a really really nice car. I would trade mine in for this one. Again, mine's this is the refresh model, so. Uh, pretty much the same car. Oh, actually, I think they changed the transmission to a, I think it's a 10 speed now. I think if I'm not mistaken, uh, they changed, they, they changed the transmission. So it's actually a little bit faster now for what I'm told. Yeah, there you go. And let, now we can put, let's put the uh, top down so you can see with the top down, see what it looks like with the top down. We're gonna we're gonna I'm only gonna show you guys. Well, here let's just use this angle right here with the top down. Man, that is sharp. Look at that. That is sharp. This is the best looking Camaro, SS Camaro, money can buy. You can save yourself some money if you go with the. Uh, manual i think you save yourself about two thousand dollars or something like that um but yeah look at that guy that is sharp that's the perfect camera you can't design one you can't design an ss better than that i haven't i haven't even seen this exact spec on the road um but this car is sharp right i'm actually and i'm actually now i'm glad i went, went with these wheels because these wheels look really nice right here and as far as the interior goes, let's go ahead and enlarge that. I think I already enlarged it already. And let's go ahead and look at the other view of it. Fantastic, guys. You got the perfect car. This is the perfect Camaro. So that pretty much wraps this video up, guys. Our total is 59850 bucks. And this is the best looking Chevrolet Camaro 2SS convertible money can buy. Can't get any better than this. Can't design one better than this. I challenge you to do it. You can. Questions and comments, please put them below. Please like this video if you watch the entire thing. Please share this video with someone who maybe possibly you may know that has this car that's designed like this. And tell them I said, great job. They designed it. They designed or they picked out a great car. Take care. I'll see you guys in our next video and thanks for watching.